In this session, we'll be discussing about Five Kingdom classification system, which was proposed by a very important scientist called R. H. Whitaker. You know, what did he do is he observed all the organisms. So organisms could be prokaryotes, could be eukaryotes. Now prokaryotes are always unicellular, like bacteria. But eukaryotes could be unicellular, could be multicellular. Now unicellular organisms have got one kingdom. Prokaryotes have got another kingdom. Prokaryotes have got the kingdom called Monera. Unicellular eukaryotes have got the next kingdom called Protista. But when he observed the multicellular eukaryotes, the multicellular eukaryotes could be plants, could be animals. The animals, those are multicellular, have got another kingdom called Animalia. But when he observed multicellular plants, the plants can be autotrophic, could be heterotrophic. Autotrophic plants have got this kingdom called Plantae and heterotrophic plants have got this group called Fungus. So this is how he classified the plants, animals and other kingdoms onto the basis of evolutionary relationship. He started checking the organisms, have started defining, okay, this particular difference is there in this particular level and he started putting them into different kingdoms. So these five kingdoms called Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungus, Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia are the five kingdom classification system proposed by R. H. Whitaker. One important question comes from this particular criteria is what are the criteria which are actually seen by Whitaker and have started in classification. So first of all he saw the cell structure. If we can talk about cell structure we discussed that if the cell is prokaryotic or if the cell is eukaryotic. If we talk about thallus organization, where you have the which all organisms you have the thallus like body, the cellular body, or the body has the organ or organ system. He also talked about autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. He didn't discuss about reproduction. And finally, he discussed about phylogeny. And phylogeny is evolutionary relationship. So while maintaining all these five kingdom classification, he has mentioned all these five criteria. He has clubbed the organisms into these five kingdoms based upon these five what you call criteria. So if you can talk about the different characters of this particular five kingdom classification system, you should know the differences between these kingdoms based upon these characters. You should understand about these characters and the differences between these kingdoms. Now when you talk about these five kingdoms, the only Monera members are prokaryotic. The cell type is prokaryotic here. Rest all the members are eukaryotic. Protista, fungus, plantae and animalia are eukaryotic kingdom. While kingdom Monera is prokaryotic. When they are prokaryotic it means primitive nucleus and primitive nucleus means there is no nuclear membrane. So if we can talk about this particular character. The nuclear membrane is absent here. Rest all the kingdoms have got the nuclear membrane. If you can talk about the body organization, the body organization, the kingdom Monera and kingdom Protista, they are cellular because they both are unicellular. They have only one cell, they have only one cell. But multicellularity starts from kingdom fungus. So kingdom fungus are multicellular but they have the loose tissues. And here the tissues are again arranged in the form of organ and here the organ system is also occurring. So this is how the evolution is taking place. Now there can be two questions that they can ask you that in five kingdom classification system or in RH Whitaker classification system how many kingdoms were assigned to eukaryotes your answer comes as four kingdoms this is first second third and fourth these four kingdoms were assigned to eukaryotes they can also ask you that how many of the kingdoms were assigned to unicellular organisms so unicellular organisms could be one could be two they both are unicellular organisms so two of two is the answer sometimes they would ask you which group is assigned to unicellular eukaryotes and unicellular eukaryotes kingdom protista is only the answer so this is the way you will have to you know solve the questions when you talk about cell wall the cell wall can be present in some of the kingdoms cannot be present in some kingdoms you must be knowing that animals they don't have cell wall so the cell wall is absent here in plants you have the cell wall and the cell wall is basically made up of cellulose and when you talk about kingdom monera the cell wall is present but the cell wall is not made up of cellulose the cellulose is not there then what is there there is peptidoglycan the time we will be talking about kingdom monera in details we'll be telling you about peptidoglycans so the cell wall of kingdom monera is not made up of cellulose it is made up of peptidoglycan 
Cell wall of fungus is also not made up of cellulose, it is made up of another polysaccharide which is called chitin. In some protista members, cell wall is present. In some protista member, the cell wall is not present. If we talk about euglenoid, cell wall is not there. If we talk about diatoms, dinoflagellate, the cell wall is there. And if the cell wall is there, the cell wall will be again made up of cellulose. So you'll have to remember that what all the cell wall are present. So in plantae, you have the cell wall of cellulose. In animals, you don't have the cell wall. In fungus, you have the cell wall, which is made up of chitin. Chitin is also called fungal cellulose. Now remember, that is not the cellulose. In protista, there are some members where you will have the cell wall. If the cell wall is present, the cell wall will be made up of cellulose. In Kingdom Monera, the cell wall is again not made up of cellulose, it is made up of peptidoglycan. Coming to the last difference, which is mode of nutrition. In mode of nutrition, you will see in Kingdom Monera, both autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition are present, which are also present in Kingdom Protesta. But plants are completely autotrophic, animals are completely heterotrophic. Autotrophic, I've already told you that autotrophic is also called holophytic. Holophytic means you are preparing your food. So plants are always autotrophic, animals are always heterotrophic. Fungus are always heterotrophic. Fungus are actually the plants which are also heterotrophic. Now we'll have to remember these two categories. Then when you talk about autotrophic, there are two modes of autotrophism. One is chemoautotrophism and one is photoautotrophism. Now photoautotrophism is the synthesis of food in presence of light and chemoautotrophism is the mode of nutrients where you take out the nutrients to synthesize your food with the help of chemical energy and always remember that chemoautotrophic mode of nutrition is never present in kingdom protista. So kingdom monera has got autotrophism. Autotrophism in autotrophism when you will talk you will be talking about photoautotrophism and chemoautotrophism. But in protesta member, when you will be talking about autotrophism, you will only be talking about photoautotrophism. You will not be talking about chemoautotrophism. So we'll remember that chemoautotrophic mode of nutrition is present in Kingdom Monera. So if you can see, you will have only heterotrophs, you have only heterotrophs, you have only heterotrophs, you have autotrophs, but no chemotrophs. You have autotrophs with chemoautotrophs and photoautotrophs. So if they would ask you out of these five kingdoms, which kingdom is maximum nutritionally diverse? or where which kingdom has got the maximum nutritional diversity or answer come as kingdom monera kingdom monera has got the maximum nutritional diversity like autotrophism has photoautotrophism chemoautotrophism heterotrophic has symbiotic saprophytic parasitic but in kingdom protesta you don't have chemoautotrophism so they can also ask you that out of these kingdoms of eukaryotes among eukaryotes which kingdom has got the maximum nutritional diversity that time your answer will be protesta. If they are asking you among five kingdom, answer is monera. If they are asking you among eukaryotes, your answer will be protesta. So you'll have to remember some of the other characters from this particular table. So this table will be helpful when you will be estimating out the differences between all these five kingdoms. Next session we'll be telling you about six kingdom classification system.